Hey! So now before anyone starts hooting and hollering, number one, I'm not a doctor. If you have any serious concerns, you should go see your doctor. Number two, symptoms of cancer can be also symptoms of a whole myriad of other things. And number three, I'm not a doctor. But I will go through a list of symptoms of common cancers and symptoms to look out for. Okay, so cancer is something that I guess a lot of people would think is only related to weird bumps and lumps. And it can be, but it's important to be aware of any unexplained changes to your body, such as the sudden appearance of a lump, or say blood in your urine, or a change to your usual bowel habits. So knowing how your body normally looks and feels can help you be aware of any changes that could be caused by cancer. And again, if you have any symptoms that are ongoing, unexplained or unusual for you, it's important to see your doctor. And there are certain symptoms that you should always have checked, always, always have checked. There are of course many, many different symptoms of cancer, but common ones include unexplained bleeding, unexplained weight loss, a lump or swelling, or unexplained pain. The earlier cancer is found, the more likely it is to be successfully treated. And you are definitely, 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 definitely not wasting your GP's time by getting your symptoms checked out. So we'll start with the most common cancer, breast cancer. Breast cancer can of course show itself through a new lump or an area that feels denser in your breast or armpit or a change to your nipple such as a rash, um, discharge or the nipple changing direction or turning in, a change in the size of shape or constant discomfort or pain in one breast. Again, it's important to state that most breast changes are not caused by cancer, but if you notice any changes or symptoms, you know what to do. And then we have prostate cancer, which is the most common cancer in men. You have a higher risk of developing prostate cancer if you are over 50, of African Caribbean or African origin, or have a father or brother who has had it because there is a genetic link. Men with early prostate cancer may not have any symptoms at all. Generally, symptoms are only noticed when the cancer is large enough to actually put pressure on the urethra. The prostate can also become enlarged due to a condition called benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is not cancer. Um, simple, simple. Typical symptoms of prostate cancer include difficulty starting to wee, a weak flow of wee, urgently needing to wee, um, needing to wee often, especially at night, um, a feeling of not completely emptying their bladder, um, blood in your wee or in your semen, or a pain when weeing. And then we've got lung cancer, which is another common one. And as you may already know, smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer, but of course, non-smokers can get it too. The main symptoms of lung cancer include a cough that lasts for three weeks or more, um, a change in a cough that you've had for a really long time, a chest infection that doesn't get better, or repeated chest infections, feeling breathless for no reason, coughing up blood, a hoarse voice that lasts for three weeks or more, pain in your chest or shoulder that doesn't get better, losing weight for no reason, or feeling more tired than usual. And then we've got bowel cancer, and bowel cancer is the fourth most common cancer in the UK. Common symptoms include bleeding from your bum, um, blood in your poo for three weeks or more, looser poo or diarrhea um, that lasts for four weeks or more, pain or a lump in your tummy or rectum, um, feeling that you haven't emptied your bowel properly after going to the toilet, losing weight for no obvious reason, and um, perhaps feeling more tired than usual. And then we've got bladder and kidney cancers and they can cause blood in your wee, even if it's only once. Um, needing to wee very often is another common symptom. Um, needing to wee suddenly, pain or a burning feeling when you wee, pain in your lower back or in your tummy, or a lump in your tummy area or in your side or your back. And then the symptoms of ovarian cancer can often be quite vague, but they can include things like feeling bloated most of the time, feeling full quickly or not wanting to eat much, pain in your lower tummy or pelvis most of the time, needing to wee more often than normal, um, a change in your bowel habit, such as diarrhea or constipation, um, back pain, or feeling tired all the time. And then early stage cervical cancer can have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. So this is why it's important to go for regular cervical screening so that any early cell changes can be easily picked up. But there are some common symptoms, including bleeding between periods, bleeding during or after sex, bleeding after the menopause, vaginal discharge that smells unpleasant, pain or discomfort during sex or pain in the lower back or pelvic area. And again, just to reiterate, these symptoms can be caused by other things and most people with these symptoms do not have cancer. But if you do have any of them and you're worried, it is important to see your doctor. And if you're lucky like me, your doctor has a website where you can book appointments online. And who knows, your doc may even have made their website with Squarespace. But there are so many other amazing things you can do with Squarespace. Not only could you turn your cool new idea into a new website or start blogging, 
but you could promote your business, sell products and services of all kinds and so much more. And Squarespace makes this so easy by providing beautiful templates created by world-class designers, e-commerce tools to let you sell just about anything online, the ability to customize look and feel, settings, products and more with just a few clicks. So go check out squarespace.com forward slash science with Katie for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code science with Katie to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching. Bye.